Hello and welcome, it's Dr Max here and I want to take you through Mouse in the House, so let's get to it. Mouse in the House is a really strange activity, but essentially what we've got is a two-axis gantry on which we have the mouse, in this case a marble, and the house, which is in this case a polystyrene cup, yes you heard right, a polystyrene cup with a small hole cut in it. The entire principle of this activity is to create a game where you need to get the mouse into the house. The catch is that you're sitting on top of a two-axis gantry which you need to control with the LEGO Mindstorm control package. Okay, let me take you through now the four steps that you need to go through to build this particular activity. Alright, the very first thing you're going to need is a top platform. This particular platform we've made out of standard 2x4 Lego bricks and this platform is merely to contain the mouse as it rolls around on this platform and give the activity a stage in which to occur. Now, as I said we've just simply made this out of normal Lego that you can find in your Lego pile and essentially we've put it together so that there are end stops in each direction. So in this case we've just got offset steps along this edge, we just have flat places or flat plates along this end, but essentially it's just to create a contained space for your mouse. And so the entire point, as you can see just by me using it with my hands, is, is very much like the marble labyrinths, except we don't have a labyrinth in this case, you have to simply get the mouse of the house. Well since he's gone home let's put him off here to the side and let's talk more about the actual gantry. Alright here we've got the two axis gantry. Now before we go too much further this gantry is designed to support the actual stage that the mouse is on. So if we go back to the stage quickly what we've done in this particular instance is on the underside of this we have a row of Lego so that it will simply couple into some part of the top gantry. Now you don't need to do it this way, you can if you like, but if you don't have any of the normal Lego floating around you can of course just use a metal can, a metal plane of plastic so that you can contain the mouse on that particular stage. In this particular instance we've just used the Lego so that it will attach to this top platform. Now when we have a look at the gantry you'll see that what we have is a pivot in the middle, we have a two axis pivot and then we have the two motors or servos at the end. Now we've designed this in a particular manner. When you're normally designing marble run labyrinths you normally have two directions of travel. You have obviously forwards and backwards, left and right. However, when using the LEGO Mindstorm control software it mixes the control output to the motors because it is designed to control two track servos or two track robots. So in order to make that work natively or make this platform work natively with that software, we've created a mixed control situation here where if you want to move the gantry left, right, up or down, it always uses the two motors in a mixed fashion. That is, if you want to go left, one motor will go one direction, one motor will go the other. If you want to go forwards, both motors might go forwards. If you want to go backwards they might both go backwards. So we've created this mixed control mechanism here through the mechanical design. Okay, the key thing to this is the pivot, the mixer control and then the base plate or the base platform. You don't have to design it this particular way, we've just cobbled it together so that it works. The key thing is to create the pivot. So let's have a look at that now. When we look at the pivot, all we simply have is a mechanism that allows movement in two directions, up, down, left, right. Now, let's pull that apart and just give you a bit of an idea as to what's in that. So all I'll do is I'll just remove the linkages on this side to the platform and I'll remove the pivot. The way this works is we've created a base platform here that has one pivot which is what this rod provides. So we could place something in the middle that will spin in that direction or rotate in that direction. And then on the underside of the gantry we've created another platform, which you may be able to see there, that moves back and forth in that direction. When you put the two together you create a two axis gantry mechanism if I put that back together. And so I've just disconnected the servo linkages on this side, you can see here that we've got this freedom of motion. And of course that's what provides us with control motion for the Mouse in the House game. Now there's some 
clever design here. If you have a look at the back end, we've got these protrusions that come out the end. These let us connect to the servo. Now, if we look closely at the servo mechanisms, you, see, you can see that we've geared them down. In this particular case, we've just uh, have a simple gear reduction and we're using these cams then to link up to this top gantry. So let's just remove the gantry completely and just have a look at the rest of the platform. The rest of it is simply just a base plate to hold the servos in place and to provide some sort of support for the, the upper gantry. You can design this however you like, we've just designed it in this particular way, but full descriptions and photos of how to build this particular version are available on the website. Let's have a look at the actual linkages themselves. If we look up close, you'll see that all we've done is place the linkages with the ball sockets into the gear mechanism itself. So it's fairly simple, but you'll note that there are no end stops to that. That's gonna be important. We're gonna come back to that in a second. Let's put all of this back together. All we do is we simply put this top plate back on. So we slide that cam rod through. I then simply fix it to make sure that it's not gonna go anywhere. Okay, so we have our top gantry back in place. Now let's reattach the connections. All we need to do is connect one side and connect the other. And in fact, you can see there with, with one disconnected how all this works. There's a freedom of movement diagonally and we require the other servo to stabilize that. Okay, so there we go. We've got the final assembly again. Now, there, is a couple of, there are a couple of gotchas with this particular design. You'll see when we look at the end here, when we look at the linkages up to the top platform, there are no end stops. That is, it is possible, now I'm just going to turn this servo around, it is possible that you may end up with the rod on the wrong side of the gear, just through, due to normal use. When you do that, the controls will become reversed. And so this activity has a bit of a gotcha in it. That's why you probably want to make sure when you're designing this to have a camera that shows you these linkages so that whoever's using it can make sure that they have the linkages towards the outside of the design. It's only when they're on the outside of the design that the controls in the LEGO Mindstorm will make any sense. All right, let's put the activity back together again. So all we have is we've got our 2D platform. Let's put our mouse in the house stage back on. Let's reintroduce the mouse. And there we go. That's how you build Mouse in the House. I'm Dr. Max. Thank you for watching.